Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. A pair of tight ends will be on the field today looking to do whatever it takes to give their team an advantage. It's the Raiders going up against the Ravens. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Bill Sim for this Week 2 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. A Week 2 matchup on tap here as we join you from O.Co. Coliseum. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And, Bill, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here for football. And how will that factor into this game? It's always a factor, Jim, when you have good weather. Now you can call anything you want and not worry about the elements disturbing your game plan. It's a complicated game. There's no doubt about it. But it's less complicated when you have good weather. And Justin Tucker looks set now to kick it away. The Raiders are back deep, waiting to return the kick. This game has officially begun. Cooper's going to test the coverage here. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Cars trotting out to the huddle. His completion percentage was well below 50% last week, so he'll look to improve on that part today. There is nothing not to like about Derek Carr. He has all the tangibles you'd like to see in an NFL quarterback. Strong, big, can run, has a good point arm. He's going to do well in the NFL. The Raiders will take the snap from the 25. And a flag is down. Holding offense. After that penalty, it sets up second down and ten. Cars going to take it from the gun. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. And now let's take a look at the Raiders' offense. They will be expecting far greater efficiency today. A week ago, they turned it over on three occasions. The Raiders facing third down. A week ago, they were not up to the challenge. Carr's going to take the snap from the shotgun. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Boy, if his head got yanked oh, back the other way, an obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. And now here's the Ravens' defense. They know they need the forced turnovers today, coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Second down now. All right, here we go. Stay right in the eight. Right in the eight. They'll go shotgun here. Launches it down the field. Is it caught? Yes, the offense has the ball. Always protect against the deep ball first. That's what the defense did this time. They were alert. Nice job. The result, just a long incompletion.
at the 30-yard line. Here comes the snap. The Raiders will take the snap from the 30. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. That was a good play call that time by the defense. The offense was moving the football down the field, but they come up with the big play, stop them on third down. Now they could go off the field. And this will be from 47 yards, the field goal attempt. Needed plenty of leg on that one. And they take the lead with this field goal in the first. Yeah, good job there by the offense driving down the field. And anytime you get points early in the game, that is a confidence boost for your football team. Webb's going to drop to a knee here, so this will come out to the 20. Flacco's going to be the man at the helm today. Eight years of seasoning for this quarterback. I think we've seen many times you give Joe Flacco some protection, give him some weapons to throw the football to, and he can flat get it done. Still one of the best downfield throwing arms in the NFL. First down at the 20. Gets the handle here. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. Jim, let's keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. Second down here after that run play. To the ground. To make the stop. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football. I promise you one thing you're going to get more carries. First down at the 30. Aiken has hold of it. That picks up 11. Well, when you play this coverage, cover four. In other words, you've got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the in cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion at time on the in round. And the pass is complete to Pitta. And now, let's take a look at the Ravens' offense. This is an efficient group. Last week, turning the football over just once. The Raiders lined up in the nickel. Midway through the first. The Ravens now move the chains. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Flacco selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake. And that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. Coming to the line at the 43. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Heaving it down the field. Did he catch it? Yes! Yes! It's a catch! Wow, partner. I think a lot of us need to get our eyes checked. That looked like an interception. Man, speak for yourself. Yeah, the play was close, but if there's a tie, just like in baseball, it goes to the receiver. At that time, I think it was a tie. The Ravens have driven inside the red zone, and last week they were so effective inside the 20. First and goal from the seven. Back that time, in on the tackle. And now, 
Here's the Raiders defense. They know they need to force turnovers today. Coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Second and goal from the six. Takes another handoff. Allen's there to take him down. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Third and goal from the one. Touchdown, Baltimore. That's the first time he's found the end zone on the ground this season. As we get near the end of the opening quarter, they've grabbed the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, things have been rough so far, haven't they? It's been fun to watch. Each team is being very competitive and physical, but that's a nice thing to do to score that touchdown and get a lead here late in the first. Ravens getting set for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Flacco certainly given his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. And the tackle is made right around the 32-yard line. The Raiders put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just the field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown, and it doesn't work, and you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. First down at the 32. And Crabtree's got it. And a first. That's his first reception today. Carr is able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer. Gets himself in very good position to throw the football. First down at the 43. And looking underneath, this will go incomplete. Well, there's a phrase we have for quarterbacks to get a little nervous in the pocket. We call it cabin fever. I think that's what happened that time. He got a little nervous. The throw was way off the mark. The Raiders take it from the 43. They give it to him on the counter. This defense is ready to pounce here early in this game as a third and long play is coming up. They sure are. There's no doubt about that. They got themselves in a good situation here. If I'm the quarterback now, third and long, I would be very cautious and conservative. Car set, empty backfield. The Raiders take it from the 43. Got drilled as he throws it. This defense off to a terrific start. Well, they call third down the money down because you try to keep drives going. And right now the defense has all the money because they're the ones getting it done. King is back now. He'll be punting. Let's see what he can do here. Gains 11. The Ravens take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looks so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Hand off. Breaks the tackle. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Second down, four to go. Hand off by Flacco. He'll pick up seven this time. Second down. Flacco 
sends it to Brown. That's his first reception today. After a quarter of play, we're seeing two defenses controlling the play. We'll be back in a moment. Gatorade, born in the lab, proven on the field. Back here in the second quarter, defense ruled the first. And what are we going to see here, you think, in the second quarter, Phil? Well, I think the first thing they got to do, Jim, is just believe in what they did all week long in preparing for the game. All the practices, all the film sessions, and just know sometimes it takes more than one quarter to get the answer. So stay with the game plan and see if you can find a way to make it work. He's in the clear. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Early in the second, and that touchdown puts a little more distance between these teams. It does, and you know what? The, the one team that's behind has got to decide to do. They're going to have to come out here and fight because it's pretty evident uh, the team that just scored, they got a lot of pride. They're playing hard, and this is going to be a tough day. The Ravens with the PAT to come. Inside of the uprights. Pittas taking a breather as the kicking team comes out. He just contributed over 60 yards receiving on that scoring drive. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. And Daryl Smith gears up for this next drive. He's been the leader for them in what's been a terrific defensive effort up to this point, partner. And you know what he does? He brings energy to the defense. There's no question about that. And I love the way he plays. It just rubs off on all of his teammates. First down at the 20. Incomplete. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Cars standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Terrell Suggs in the quarterback's face. Cars, the injured player, and we'll take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We'll head back to the field now after the injury timeout. Danielle Bellini is getting us the update on exactly what happened down there. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Thunder's got it in the gun. And the catch is made by Rod Streeter. That's reception number two for him. The Raiders put themselves in a terrible situation. Third long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. First down at the 39. Here's the handoff. And it's Webb there to meet him. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Ponders alone in the backfield. 20, 20, Takes it from the gun. Kyle Arrington has the interception. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Ravens will be trying to make it three successful drives in a row as they retake the field here on offense, partner. They got a great feeling from the offense so far. In other words, they're confident. They feel good, so you need to keep calling plays. It keeps the, the offensive players in a positive frame of mind. You do that, hey, I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down here and score again. The Raiders with a nickel look here on defense.
trying to beat the play clock. The Ravens elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. Following that timeout, offense back out on the field. Second and six coming up. Two tight ends on the field here. Flacco flings it way down the field. Receivers in the NFL now, they can get down the field and just give them a chance. That's what the quarterback did. Nice catch by the receiver. Stepping up to the line at the four-yard line. First and goal. Gilmore grabs it. And that's a two-yard gain. Coming up, second down. Quick drop back. Blacko's pass will go for an incompletion. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Third and goal at the two. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Good job that time by the defensive player. He reads the quarterback, gets in position, down near his own end zone, knocks that pass down. We're beginning to see this team assert their dominance in this game midway through the second, although this time it's just a field goal. Still, it opens up a lead. I'm looking at the team that's losing right now. When are they going to stand up and just say, I've had enough, and go out there and start fighting? Suggs ready to lead this defense. Their defense has had a lot to do with them getting out to this lead, and he's been the one setting the tone, Phil. Yeah, Jim, I love the way he plays. He's had a terrific day so far. His toughness, I think that's his greatest quality. Michael Crabtree with the catch. Browns all over that offense and brings him down. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. He lose. Line up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Second down and 11. Halu's going to secure the handoff. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. Third and 11. Looking across the middle, and it's batted down. Raiders don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. Looking to make a difference. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. And a run back of about 11. The Ravens, Phil, have really gotten things going here in the second quarter after a slow start. Yeah, listen, it's about time. And anytime you see an offense turn things around, it usually points to one area on the offensive side. That is the offensive line. They have been dominating. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Second down and eight. Throws the pass. This pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. The Ravens now on third down. Just a week ago, they converted at a high rate in third down situations. The Ravens snap it at the 41. Makes the catch in the open field. That's reception number four for him. The Ravens are up right now, Phil. And that's at least partly due to the play of the quarterback. Flacco's been in rhythm so far today. He has been in rhythm. He is hot. Some days, Jim, when you warm up, you know you have it. And that's what happened to this guy today. When he was warming up, he had it, and he has it again. The Ravens come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. 
Smith's going to pull in the bullet pass. Two minute warning. Welcome back. Halftime just a couple of minutes away as we resume play out of the two minute warning. First down at the 18. They'll go ground. Picks up eight here. Ravens have really been dominant today on the offensive side. In the red zone now, they just take the football and they run it right at the defense and pick up solid yards. Second and two. They call his number once more. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone, but there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold him. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. In the end, it picks up only a yard. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second and goal from the five. Smith's Ravens in the end zone. That's the 75th touchdown catch of his career. And that touchdown figures to have them in a very comfortable spot heading into the halftime break. Ooh, they are feeling good. There's no doubt about that. It's been a, a show of good offense here so far in the first half. And now what you got to do, halftime comes, you got to go in there and tell yourself to keep this going and keep the pressure on. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. No return as this goes for a touchback. The Raiders. Bill, what's the issue with this team? This offense specifically. Three straight drives without a score. Well, Jim, I'd say this. It's bad coaching. I, I just hate what they're trying to do on the offensive side. They're not putting their players in position to give them a chance to compete against this defense. They've got to, they've got to change things up, give their offense a chance, and give these players a chance. The Raiders signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. The Ravens' defense now is going to go nickel. The Raiders have it at the 24. The catch is made by Crabtree. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. And the timeout is called, so we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. The Raiders take it from the 33. This would be ruled incomplete. Didn't get the feet down. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that go. time by the defender. Ponders back in shotgun formation. Off the mark. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. The Raiders need to get to the 43 to pick up a first. Ponders back in shotgun formation. King is back now. He'll be punting. He wants to return this one. And that's a gain of 10. The Ravens have moved the ball quite well through the air. Flacco's, of course, been at the head of that attack. And what a day he is having. It? And when you get open, it doesn't matter if you're wide open or it's a tight window. He is putting the football right on the money. What an impressive display of throwing the football. Step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. 
That's a gain of 10. The Ravens, one timeout remaining. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. The Raiders defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Smith there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. First down here. Here's the first snap after the big play. And it's complete to Smith Sr. Allen's there to take him down. A timeout charge to the offensive unit. Tucker's lining up for the field goal. He's one for one so far today. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. And that will do it for the first half that was exciting for one side and a complete embarrassment for the other. It's blowout city here as we've reached halftime. Larry coming up next to break down the mismatch. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Raiders are on the bad end of things right now after two quarters. The Ravens, on the other hand, are just showing more of what they showed last week by playing good football. Here we go. Let's do this. Here's your first half highlights. Ravens take it at the one. Forsett's going to take it up the middle. And he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. Ravens go up by four. First and ten. Quick pass. And Dennis Pitta comes up with the catch. And this play goes for a score. Ravens push their lead to 11. Third and long. Streeter's got the reception. And he'll be tackled at their own 39-yard line. Raiders would later throw a pick on the drive. Ravens have it on second and five. The pass is completed into tight coverage, and he kept off the long drive with the TD. Ravens up now by 21. Ravens with the ball, waiting seconds of the half. Over the middle, Joe Flacco fighting Steve Smith Sr., and it's going to end up going for a gain of 27. So that's going to wrap up our halftime report. We'll get you back out now to O.Co. Coliseum with Jim Nance and Phil Sanders on the call. Here at the O.Co. Coliseum. Third quarter about to get underway. Jim Nance and Phil Sims from the broadcast booth above the 50. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. That return's good for about 23. The Raiders' defense had a rough go of it in the first half, Phil. And let's see what they can do now to start the second half. Well, they got manhandled. They got beat up. They got pushed around. I mean, let's toughen up and change things around. And now they're going to go with the draw play. The Ravens' offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play. But what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. Flacco will take it from the gun. Lorenzo Taliaferro has the grab. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art, and this team is good at it. Flacco's now completed his last seven passes. First down at the 37. Pitta's got it. First down. The Ravens have tried to target their big tight end in the passing game. Pitta's been a big target across the middle of the field. You said it right. They depend on him. He's one of the best in the NFL. And when you're one of the best tight ends in the NFL, they are going to find ways to get you the football. First down following the long play. Flacco from the shotgun. Kamar Aitken has the catch. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Second and 11. 
for set with the reception. The Ravens have been quite good all season at throwing the football, and it's been another game like that today. Flacco's continue to be one of the best field generals in the game. I just love the way he dominates everything with the football team, especially on the offensive side, Jim. We see he's in command of everything, and of course, we see all the great plays he makes. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Tucker lining up for the field goal. He's two of two so far today. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. Another nice kick by the kicker. Man, oh man, is he hot. He has got such confidence, got a powerful leg, and it is all in rhythm today. Cooper's not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The Raiders have gone from bad to worse after an ugly first half. There's nothing here to shine in the second half either. Hey, have you ever had a situation like this where it's just really gone all against you? Nothing goes right and you just were absolutely awful. Every week I work with you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bingo. Man, you smashed that one out of the park. First down at the 20. Up the gut here. And that gains a few. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw it that time when they stopped the play for a short game. Here we go, here we go. White City. White City. Go, go, go. Second down and seven. Scanning the field. Catch made near the sideline. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Ready, right, 20. Ready. The Raiders take it from the 23. And Crabtree's got the catch and the first. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. First and ten. Has to extend for that one, and he's got it. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. The Ravens go with the dime formation here on defense. Second and eight. They lose. Hand at the football. It'll be third down. Empty backfield look for Ponder here. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Smith makes the catch. Gains 13. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Ponder's completion percentage, 60% on the day. After running it, it's second down. Here we go, here we go. Christian Ponder from the shotgun. There's a flag out. Holding offense. Third down after the penalty. The Raiders need to get to the 43 to pick up a first. Thunder's going to take it from the gun. With the upshaw brings the quarterback down. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. The Raiders are going to have to punt. Ooh. 
We'll see what he can do here. Ravens love this type of play. Of course, everybody would. When you get a good punt return, that's what you want. And, of course, it helps when you have an explosive punt returner back there. The Ravens are not backing off after the halftime break. Instead, they've continued to pour it on here in the third quarter. Well, I think we were expecting this, weren't we? We, we saw practice this week. They looked sharp. Coach said they had a great week of practice, and they've shown that here in the game so far today. That's a gain of six. That'll be second and four after the running play. Double tight end formation. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. 12 on this play. The fourth quarter about to begin, and this game is well in hand. It sure is. It's been a, just a total dominant performance, a blowout, whatever you want to say. And I give the team a lot of credit. They played well. They had a tremendous game plan on the other side. It's only one game. Go back, start all over again, and this time next week, you could be the team that's on top. They'll run it here. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Well, Jim, what a day for this offense. You know, they're blowing the team out, and here they are once again in the red zone. I, hey, listen, if I was him, I'd go ahead and try to punch it in one more time. Woodson's going to make the tackle. The Ravens, they can do it all. Once they get in the red zone, they have the passes, the screens. They can throw it down to the back of the end zone. And how about that play? They can run the football right at you if they want to. And that time, they picked up some, some good yards on that run. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while, it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. Third down and 11. Smith's got it on a pass that had some heat. That's reception. Number seven for him. This offense has been moving the football all day long. Once again in the red zone, they have a big lead. What will they do? I think they'll just try to run it in from here. And it's swatted away. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Second and goal from the six. And it's knocked down. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with the pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. The Raiders lined up in the nickel. Third and goal at the six. It's touchdown Baltimore. Perriman's caught his first touchdown of the season. That's a wonderful catch by the receiver, getting his first touchdown of his rookie year and, and making that catch. That is the first of many to come for him. Ravens getting set for the extra point. He made it. The Raiders' return team has been on the field way too often today as they are getting blown out. The score is 37 to 3. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. The Raiders have failed to come away with points on three consecutive drives. Their offense takes the field again now. What's caused them to go silent here, partner? Listen, let's give all the credit to the defense. They are being very creative on the defensive side. The coach is calling the right plays, and they are just taking it to the offense right now. The more aggressive team is winning, and that's the defense. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Loss of four on the play. Second down and a long way to go. Lee Smith with the reception. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Here we go. Here we go. Black 35. Black 35. Black 
third and a long way to go. And that pass is just thrown away. It has been a dominating performance in all facets, Phil, but I think it starts with the defense, which is still starring in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they've been tremendous all day long. I'm going to tell you what, they're going to feel good about themselves when this game is over to and tonight. And I'll tell you, I think they'll carry this momentum into next week's practice. They're going to be tough again next week. He's tackled right at the 31. What a lucky play that time by the return team. They fumble the football. Nobody's hustling, but somehow they find a way to recover their own fumble. The Ravens snap it at the 31. Allen's there that time for the tackle. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Trying to plow ahead. That picks up 11. Tick, 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 tick. That's what we're trying to do. Make that clock keep running down. You got the offense out there. You got a big lead in the second half. Every first down you get shortens that football game. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Ravens break huddle and show a jumbo look. Gets it again. Barrels ahead. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. And gains maybe four. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Second and six. They hand it off to him again. Picked up a couple that time. You got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. They'll go ground. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. First down at the 26. Games 11. He's now past the 100-yard mark on the day. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Two minutes to go in the second half. this one and time is running out here in the fourth quarter they come to the line and it's first down for this play they'll go with two tight ends another handoff that's a gain of six that's second down coming up Takes it again. That's a gain of six. Well, the defense has been terrible all day. Here they are in this situation. Down big, late in the game. About ready to give up another touchdown. Don't worry about the, the offense running up the score. Try to stop it. First and goal. The give. The tackle by Curtis Lofton. This will be the 11th play of the drive goal line defense on the field second and goal from the three and it's Curtis Lofton who makes the play third and goal from the one he is in for the touchdown that could be construed as running up the score Phil this game was already in the bag well Jim it could be construed you got to try a little harder or the score will get run up on you how about that you know you are allowed to stop them on the defensive side and you got to put some effort into it and some heart and we've seen neither the Raiders ready to return the kickoff
motion to him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. And there is Jimmy Smith. And he and all the other players on that unit can give themselves a big pat on the back for what's been a go, fantastic, go, 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 go. dominant effort today, Phil. Absolutely. Pat yourself on the back. They should. They hustled from start to finish. It took sucks behind the line of scrimmage. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that play that time? Good move, good speed, gets to the quarterback, and gets a sack. The Raiders are coming off a loss and more disappointment today here, Phil. It is, Jim. They came into this game with a great mindset, uh, trying to turn things around from last week. But what happened here today, nobody made that play to get momentum on their side. Well, every coordinator in the NFL has a box over there somewhere in that play sheet for third and long. When he wants to try to pick the play up for the first down with a throw down the field, it can be seams, double moves, but they have four or five of those types of plays to pick up third and long situations. The Raiders really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third and long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. This punt will be returned. Ball's loose. Fumble's picked up, and now he's taking it back the other way. And a run back of about 18. What a job by the kicking team. They hustled down. We have a review coming from the booth. So now they're going to take a look at whether the knee was down before the ball came out. Well, when we look at this, let's look when the knee hits the ground. And as we look at it, when the knee hits the ground, does he still have total control of the football? If you deem him to have total control, then it's not a fumble. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Inside the last two minutes, this one had to be instigated by the folks upstairs. They challenged the call on the field, and in fact, it was the proper thing to do. The play is overturned. Yeah, good job by the officials upstairs seeing it, knowing there was a mistake on the field. That's what I love about the NFL. Not afraid to admit, to say they made mistakes and turn them around. Well, Jim, they got the lead. There's not much time left. Run the football and this clock. Keep it moving, and you can win the game. Take no chances. Don't jump off sides. Don't create a penalty and put two hands on the ball. Bill, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.